So what's next for Nasdaq? So if you have been following me, you know, I have analyzed this pair. I was telling you that to expect this price to come down to this level. So right now, market is here. The question is, is it going to continue heading down or the price will start reversing from here? So in this video, you are going to understand everything on um, how I'm going to break it down. You can apply it even if you are not trading Nasdaq. You can do the same, apply it in other pair. The strategy is the same. You can use it in other pair. So make sure you pay attention and watch this video to the end. I'm going to show you how you can be able to break any market, not just Nasdaq, any pair you are trading in this video right so pay attention if you take a look at this you discover that market is at resist a support level rather here is a support level so you need to take note of that for instance here if you pay attention here you see that markets have been here before around here the market drop from here all the way to this level the same thing happened to this level. in fact all market crash so this crash can be compared to 2008 crash in the market, both stock market, gold, silver, a couple of other assets, even Bitcoin have also crashed as well. So the question is, is the market going to start, you know, resume uptrend from here? So in this video, I'm going to break it down for you. Just watch. If you see here, you discover that market is at support. A couple of weeks ago, I was telling you guys that to expect this market to come down from here. The market was around here. You say it's going to come and respect this support before it takes the next move. So right now, market is at support. What do you do from here? If you identify, let me just mark out this zone. All right. So I have marked out this zone. So another thing you need to pay attention is if I switch to smaller time frame. Remember, what I'm expecting in weekly time frame is worth double bottom. Once this market forms double bottom, so the market is going to start to rally but right now you cannot assume that this is double bottom until the market comes up here you understand market starts heading and break out of here and one thing you can go and check out other videos where i show you the the key thing that nasdaq always do before nasdaq will take any major move is going to or to break a, a new all-time high is going to form double bottom and if that forms in a weekly time frame, I can tell you that in the next decan, maybe the next uh, 10 years or more, the market can literally keep heading all the way up. If you take a look at the chart, you discover that the market is always heading up. Even during COVID-19 crash, as you can see, COVID-19, when COVID-19 occurred, market crash, the next thing, the market resumed. So you should really pay attention to it, even if you are buying it as a stock or you are just a day-to-day -day trader, all right? So watch this. Having identified this, then you can be able to switch to smaller time frame. Don't forget that you can also mark out this zone because this zone, since we are expecting a double bottom from the weekly time frame, so here should be what considers as net line. All right, here should be considered as net line. So if we move towards to daily time frame here, you should be able to see what is currently happening here. So as you can see here. You can draw your line. See the way I mark out this zone. You can draw your line as you can see here. Then the second one is the downside. So if you watch here, you discover. Alright, so as you can see here, we will mark out this whole downtrend that have market have been heading down this bear market, discovered the market have been moving in this channel. But right now, we are expecting this market to give us a double bottom here. So having assumed this, yeah, I'm going to remove this because I don't like charts to fool a, a, a couple of, as in plenty drawings on my chart. So I'm going to remove this, but I just wanted to show you what to expect from this. Alright, so... We are going to be focusing what is going to happen here from here all the way up or all the way down. The question is, is the market going to start heading down here or we expect it to, you know, to go down. As you can see, markets, before market break down, you discover that we, we experience something like this.
see market do like see if you want to break out then it come down to this level so let me still delete this i'm just showing you some things you need to pay attention to whenever you're analyzing the market all right so the next thing you need to understand now is because we are not trading in a higher time frame you're not trading in weekly you are not entering in daily time frame so having understand that market can support here but based on the strategy we use we do not enter the market immediately market enter support or resistance all right so you don't just jump in here because the market if you jump in here you may be you know kind of saying that you enter on time if market start heading up but we need to confirm that the market is actually ready to start heading all the way up so to do that we are going to switch to the time frame we are going to be entering Remember, we have already established the fact that, okay, market is at the support and we are expecting a kind of double bottom here. So if you move to four hours time frame, then you can be able to start identify zone. Remember, the first thing I first established is what we call market structure to identify which direction are we expecting this market to head. So if you, if you choose your charts, maybe you draw a trend line here. From here, it, it, you mark out this zone all right then you do the same thing on a down so if you if you look at this chart here if you discover that markets have been touching here it goes up come down touch here have you seen it so this one is the third touch and at the same time it has a key support level all right this is the third touch and it's at a key support level then moving on remember we are on four hours time frame so what else do you expect you can be able to keep pick this chart you are trying to identify where you will enter all right then you can connect here from here all the way down here hope you are understanding the steps i'm taking because just because uh, the market is a support and we are expecting a kind of uh, double bottom from weekly time frame that does not mean that the double bottom will just market will just rally all the way up it will start doing you know moving kind of sideways at the end of the day you've seen higher high all right so having established this so we are expecting from here the market to come down to here but if this market break below this red line then the market will keep heading down it, it may give you a kind of false break because what i'm expecting i expect this market to hold here all right i'm expecting this market to form a double bottom but if it breaks i will not trade the breakdown all right i will be expecting maybe it will look like if we want to consolidate then it will break give a false break before it start to rally all the way up that's what i mean you know kind of manipulate people that's how a uh, bank's trade they kind of kick you out before they take a position so if you take a look at this now you discover you have established the fact that market have touched this is a third touch and they are the third touch you always expect it to start heading all the way up all right this is what in four hours time frame we keep heading down so that we can be able to capture what exactly will warrant us to click the buy button or sell button so looking at here as you can see here let me zoom it out you discover we are on what we are on one hour time frame in this one hour time frame notice something here is the last low you see this cover you discover that here now it's making a kind of higher high just watch this with this now you should be able to know that right now already the market have started making higher high discover markets head all the way up to here then drops break above here come down again break above here come down again have you seen it so with this it should be telling you that something is going on here something is going on here there is probability for this market to start heading all the way up this is what in one hour time frame if you move down to 30 minutes so that you can be able to see it very well then you will see a clear picture of what you are saying if you draw a trend line here let's say we connect it from here so i'm going to delete this down one okay let me just leave it 
All right. If you take a look at it, you discover markets have touched here. First one goes up, come here again, touch here. Have you seen it? Goes up. This high is more than this one, so it's it's now creating higher high. If you can, if you watch very well, it's creating higher high from this level. So so here now, remember, if you go to 15 minutes time frame, like personally, how I like to trade, you discover that. In five minutes time frame, what I can do is to come here, you draw your this, you know, that is how we enter a trade. Have you seen this is the breakout, which is an entry signal, all right? To confirm this kind of, this little breakout, let's say you turn on volume, you see a little volume is a little bit up, but it's not all that high, but it's still showing you that it's greater than this one more, that the volume is still the same, all right? So that is what we are expected to do. From here, we should be expecting to, when you take a position, this is not a financial advice, don't forget. So do your own analysis as well. But I'm showing you what to expect from this market, all right? Maybe if you reference your stop here, you should be able to target here. If you are trading on a smaller time frame, all right? Or all the way to this level, all right. So this is one of the things you can be able be able to understand, all right. So this is what to expect on this market. Make sure you cool down and go through this video, understand every step I'm showing you here, so that you don't make a mistake, all right. So thank you. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and like the video as well.